Hello, my name is David Gocken and today we're going to learn about promo stacking, what it is, how to do it effectively, where you can find out which sites are worth using. And not only that, I'll also break down why promo stacking works so well and really the concept works so bloody well that it should form the basis of every single book launch and backlist promotion that you run. In other words, you're also going to learn here how to create a book marketing plan. And if you stick around to the end of the video, I'll show you how to scale up that plan so you really can attack the very top of the charts. Now. Before we dive into all that good stuff, please do hit that subscribe button. The subscriber count is directly connected to my sense of self-worth. It's also a pretty strong signal to YouTube that this video is worth showing to other people, so you'll be helping the channel grow as well as my ego. But the notification bell is actually the important one if you do actually want to get a ping when I drop a new video. The like button, nobody knows what that does. Probably best to mash all of them like an enraged baboon. Okay, so what is promo stacking? Well, promo stacking is running a bunch of promos at the same time, where the collective effect can be much, much more than the sum of its parts, if you do it right. And by promos, I mean ads on promo sites like BookBub, ENT, Robin Reads, FreeBooksy, Fussy Librarian. I have a whole list of recommended book promotion sites that I'm going to share with you in the description of this video, and I'll speak about that specifically in a moment. But just the short version, promo sites are basically places where readers can get deals on books. You drop the price of your book for a few days, these sites share the deals with their audience, and you get a bunch of sales. Um, the term promo stacking, though, is a teeny bit of a misnomer, and I can lead people astray, because the idea isn't actually to stack promos on top of each other and hit everything kind of all at once on the same day, but to spread your promo out over several days. So you're stacking horizontally, if you like, rather than vertically. So you might have an ad on Fussy Librarian one day, Free Booksy the next, e-reader news today the following day, and so on. That's promo stacking. So why does promo stacking work so well and why am I recommending it so strongly? Um, you might be wondering what the benefit is in spreading the love in this way rather than just, you know, hammering everything at once like some kind of demented Scarface type character. Well, this is how we used to do it back when I started self-publishing around 10 years ago. I actually have a detailed video on that strategy. It's known as a book bomb and why it doesn't work so well anymore. So if you want to dive into the exact mechanics of that, I'll stick a YouTube card up there, wherever they appear. Um, and I'll drop a link in the description as well. Um, but the short version is that Amazon's famous algorithms aren't so impressed with a one-off sales spike anymore. They make you work a little harder these days to get the love. Um, but if Amazon's system sees several days of sales or downloads on a book, then the system kind of wakes up and starts supporting you. It starts recommending your book to lots of readers. So Amazon sends out millions of emails every single day to readers recommending new books for them. And it makes millions more recommendations every single day all across its giant website. If you can get that giant recommendation engine, which is what I like to call it, if you can get that working for you, the effect really can be spectacular. This is the famous halo effect you might have heard authors talking about, especially if they've just had a successful launch or backlist promotion, where a book basically starts selling itself. Even when the author is no longer doing anything to drive sales, they're not doing newsletter swaps, they're not running any ads, and the book is basically selling itself. This is marketing Xanadu for my fellow fans of Olivia Newton-John. Anyway, Promo stacking works so well because you're spreading your sales over several successive days. You might get a higher rank, a higher one-off rank from doing the book bomb approach, like hitting everything all at once, but you will also tend to fall very quickly in the rankings afterwards. Now, there may be less bragging rights with this promo stacking approach because your peak rank on Amazon won't be as high, but you will stay higher in the ranks for longer, for much longer afterwards, and you'll make more money, sometimes a lot more money. And let me really emphasize that. We're we're talking about multiplying the amount of money you make from a promotion, not just adding to it. This is how a book gets sticky in the charts, which is another phrase you might have heard people using. By the way, if all this publishing and marketing jargon drives you crazy, check the description for some help with that. I'm putting together a glossary for everyone. So feel free to pop up in the comments and just ask what a phrase means and I'll add it to the list and I'm going to do a big video or a blog post or, or maybe both. I am covering the topic. Anyway, where was I? Okay, so getting sticky in the charts, that thing that all you know, savvy self-publishers are chasing. Um, I should note that promo stacking isn't a guarantee that that's gonna happen, but it definitely gives you the very best chance of making that happen for your books. And by the way, this is one of those things that will give you a real edge in the marketplace because publishers, even the biggest publishers, they don't know this stuff. They don't know how Amazon works. They tend to hit everything all at once. Um, and most self-publishers aren't doing it either because it requires a little bit of extra planning. It requires a bit of discipline to kind of sit in your hands sometimes and not just hammer everything all at once. But in return for that, you will get a whole load of benefits. 
Now, you might see a couple of problems with this approach, so let's deal with those. Like first up is most authors might only know one or two promo sites. So where can they find enough promo sites so they can do that horizontal stacking across, you know, the five days of a free run or the seven days of a Kindle countdown deal or, you know, however many days you're running your manual price promotion. I should probably clear something up at this point. Promo sites are sometimes known as deal sites or you might have heard people call them reader sites or even newsletter promotions because... While most of these promo sites tend to have a website where readers could go and, and peruse all the deals, most of the action usually happens via email. So readers sign up to the mailing list of the website to get daily deals in their favorite genre. Authors and publishers like me then pay a fee to have their books included in that email and in return they get a, bo a boost in sales. Now the costs can range from a few dollars for the smaller sites to over a thousand dollars for the very big. And it does depend on the size of the site and how many sales it can deliver. But really there's only one expensive site worth talking about which is BookBub and all the other recommended sites tend to cost between $20 and $100. And I think that will be in, within the budget of most people but for those who are truly strapped for cash there are a few free options as well and now you need to be careful here because most sites are just a waste of time because they have no audience some of them can charge hefty fees despite virtually having no readers and a few are out and out scams which could you know steal your credit card details or just abscond with your money and not even bother putting putting your your book out there um, I've also, the other criticism I've heard from, from people who aren't that keen on this promo stacking strategy is this. They say it takes an incredible amount of time to book slots on dozens and dozens of promo sites. Honestly, if you're using dozens of promo sites, you're doing this wrong because there's only a handful of sites that I think are worth bothering with. And I've listed them all in a guide on my site. I will share a link in the comments, but as you can see here on screen, this list is curated by me personally, and it's broken down into handy categories like free promotion. So if you're doing a free deal on your book, discounted book promos for your countdown deals or your manual 99 cent deals, series promotions if you want to push a whole series at once, genre promotions, so like specialist promo sites for various genres like science fiction and fantasy, romance, and so on. Um, and I've even got a few list builders for boosting your mailing list and follow promos as well. So definitely check it out. There are other lists out there floating around with hundreds of sites in them. and and the fact is, most of the sites mentioned are rubbish, quite frankly. I've personally tested all the sites on this list and many more besides. I've also confirmed the results with a, a bunch of authors uh, in a range of genres as well. So this list only includes established, reputable promo sites, which are genuinely worth your money. So the very best around. And I keep that up to date all the time. In fact, I just updated it the other day and I do that every month or two. Um, every site on the list is there because of the results it delivers and no other reason. So make sure to bookmark it. I've actually bookmarked it myself, even though it's on my own site. And I just open it up when I'm booking a promo and I can just click the links and, and, and book all my promos in one place. It's very, very handy. Okay, so when should you use promo stacking? Um, when you're looking at the various promo sites that I recommend in my list, you might notice that most of them will only feature your book if it's free or 99 cent, right? There are some exceptions, but that's the general rule of thumb. And even those that do allow higher price books usually have some verbiage there recommending that you, and strongly recommending that you run with a discount instead. Is that, what, that is what their readers overwhelmingly respond to. These are deal sites after all. So if you're just doing a free promotion or a 99 cent deal on an older book, that's fine. But what if you're launching a new one? A popular and effective approach is to discount an earlier book in the series. Um, let me give you an example of what I'm talking about here. So I'm just going to put something up on the screen. This is the basic plan for the launch of a book three in a series. You can see that book one is reduced to 99 cent, book two is reduced to 2.99. So in this hypothetical scenario, this author is retailing their books at 4.99 normally. Um, and then book three is being launched at full price without a discount at 4.99. Now, we have deal sites pushing the 99 cent book and we have a couple more pushing the 2.99 book because some of them will let you add in a second book into the promo. And all of that will feed into book three and help that during the launch week as well. Now, this is pretty basic and I think anybody can pull this off. And if you haven't tried this approach, I really strongly recommend it. I do some version of this for virtually all my launches. Now, 
my actual plan is a bit more complicated and I'll show you something um, similar to what I do in a moment. Um, and it also works very well for backlist promotions. So that book three doesn't need to be brand new for this template to work. You will get more oomph out of a launch, of course, because you'll have your all your existing audience and your mailing list helping things along and maybe things like newsletter swaps as well. But it can be a very nice way to promote an entire series at once, a back, like even outside the time of a launch. Um, and you can adapt this approach, by the way, to two books, three books, four books, even 10 books. Just run discounts or free promotions on the first few books. I think that's a good approach for most cases. You might want to be a little bit more aggressive and, and run more discounts if the series has really fallen in the rankings and you've tried all these other ways before and you've kind of exhausted these methods. Then you can run more discounts if you want. I'm just saying it's absolutely not necessary. Even with a longer series, you can just discount the first couple of books. Anyway, I run through all those options on that kind of stuff in my free course, Starting From Zero. Again, there's a link in the comments set out. Um, but just before I wrap up, I wanna show you quickly how scalable this approach is. So when you start looping in things like Facebook ads and Bookmob ads, when you have five or six books in your series, when you have more experience, you can still use this basic approach. Okay, so for example, here's a rough outline of a marketing plan for a book five launch. And this is a bit more similar to what I do these days around the time of a launch or even a backlist promotion. Okay, so you can see here, um, the first book is a free rather than 99 cent, um, but it doesn't matter. You can lead with either depending on what suits you best. And I actually flip between the tactics, like from one launch to another, I'll switch from a free book one to a 99 cent book one, or from one backlist promo to another. I like to mix it up and keep things fresh. Um, and you, as you can see, you can start to layer in more and more things there and the promo just gets crazier and crazier. Now, I'm not gonna break down that entire slide. That's actually an hour long video lesson in my, in my course, in my free course. If you wanna check that out and get the full breakdown on that, I just wanna show you what's possible here because you can take this basic marketing approach, this technique, promo stacking, which anybody can do. And then as you get more experience and you release more books and you have more money to spend on marketing and you have a bigger audience to justify that marketing spend, you can still use promo stacking, but to even greater effect. And this kind of approach can really put a book like up to the top of the charts. So, um, this is just the beginning of what you can do with this technique. I hope you found this video useful and it gives you some confidence to explore promo stacking. Make sure to check out my list of recommended book promo sites in the comments um, and really watch out for the sharks. Like there's some sites out there which will pretend they have like a million readers on their rating list and they have nothing of the sort. And I would definitely want you to avoid those. And take a look at my course on book marketing. It is genuinely 100% free. There's no catch, no upsell. So don't worry about any of that. And it'll walk you through the entire process of branding your book, positioning it, setting up your mailing list and getting the most out of a promotion like this. Okay, so hit that subscribe button before you go and see you next time.